I'm Sarah with athriftymom.com and this is Erica from Favorite Family Recipes. Yep, and we are coming live to you today again. We did this last week and we had so much fun. And today we have some extra little helpers because my kids had half day of school today. So we decided... I, I got a day off. He did get a day off because he's kindergarten so he's like half day. And so that means that he... Um, on half days they switch on days so next week he'll get to go um, to school a full day so um, so last week we came to you guys and um, we did a, 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 some fun kids stuff and we thought that it would be fun to get our kids together again and do some more fun projects so Erica has an awesome awesome recipe I'm talking I do. okay so we just posted this recipe on our blog today um, I think we're going to be posting that live on both on here and on Favorite Family Recipes so you can check out the recipe. But it's super easy. It's five minute slushies and your kids can do these by themselves. It's perfect for the summertime and it, you can just whip something up quick when you don't want popsicles to be dripping all over the place or if juice and soda just doesn't cut it on these hot days. So five minutes. It's a really awesome recipe. It's way awesome. So we're going to do that one. We're going to go get some stuff for it. And then we're going to do a kid craft, which is kind of like a science experiment. Kid craft, super fun. So Monique says, I'm here. Hi. Janet says, hey, more family members today. And Christy says, fun. And Emily says, hey. So, hey, everybody. We're so glad that you're here. And since we're so far away, I can't see the comments on my thing here. So I'm going to be trying to get them on my laptop, which if they scroll too fast, I can't go back. So if I miss your comment, it's not that I don't love you. It's the fact that we are trying to get all the people into the shot at the same time. But we love it when you guys interact. That's the whole point of being live is... Um, I can bring this over here. Okay, can't bring that over there. And the weird thing about being live is you can't really see your setup until you push the 3, 2, 1, go live button. So you guys kind of get to see like behind the scenes and see how we try to figure this all out. <laughs> okay, so while we're wait, we're kind of getting everything set up, why don't you guys give us some shout outs, tell us where you're watching from and if you have any little kiddos watching and if your kids like slushies. I love slushies. Yes. Um, can I uh, have the Yes. Uh, <laughs> Debbie says, those kids are friggin' adorable. <laughs> Marie says, hey, let's have some fun. Mommy, what's Debbie? Uh, not Debbie Grandma, it's a different Debbie. And then Deb says, why, oh, how do you say this word? Wayne Dode? Winnedette? Oh, Winnedette, okay. There's the smart way to say Winnedette, and then I say Wayne Dode. Wayne Dode. I probably butchered it. Wayne Dode, Michigan. Okay, no Janet way. is from Sunnyside, Sunnyside, wow. uh, Washington. Annie is from St. Joseph, Missouri. Oh, no. Charlie's, me and my grandson are from Rapid Cities, Michigan. And Marie okay. says, my son loves the blue-green slushies. He's 11. Okay. Okay, so we're going to let Erica hop in here, and she's going to get the kids started on their five-minute slushies. Okay. So I'll let you sit where I am, and then I will be back here. Okay, so first thing you do, you want to see something? You guys, I'll put the salt in it. I love it. First, you get like a quart size Ziploc bag, and you put a couple handfuls of ice cubes in. Probably, I'm guessing about ten to twelve ice cubes, about halfway full. Okay, so we're gonna pass it around. Okay, so, so pass, pass it down. Pass it to me. Okay, one down. Pass it around. Bottles of root beer on the wall. We used to sing that to our bus driver and she hated it. She outlawed that song. Okay, so we have Lorena from Central Washington. Elizabeth says hello. And Monique says my daughter loves you, she, but she's a school. So, uh, Monique, I think um, you know, but if you share this, uh, this video to your page, then when it's all done, you can come back and you can watch it with your daughter. And you can fast forward it. You can rewind it, you can do whatever you want after it's live. So we'd love for you to share it to your page. Okay, so we are done with the ice. So each of you get one scoop of salt all the way to the top. Yeah. So all how much salt are they putting in? This is one teaspoon. 
And is it just normal table salt, or it looks pretty chunky? What kind this of salt is, is it? It's kosher salt, but you can use table salt if that's what you have. Really, I mean, you can use ice cream salt, whatever. Okay, so one scoop each, and then I'm going to go get some juice. Okay, Scott is from Post Bells, Idaho. Woohoo! We love our Idaho readers. Oh, Post Bells, that's awesome. I used to teach Mom, there. Does it matter what I'm reading? Oh, good. And can you? Um, okay. I don't know. Use this one. Okay. And then we have Sarah is from Sakai from Alabama. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, once that salt is in the bag with the ice, we're going to get another smaller bag, like a sandwich size bag, and we're going to put one cup of juice. And you can use anything. I actually have some soda back here that we're going to make one with soda, so you can see. My husband and I made some with vanilla Dr. Pepper last night, and it was fantastic. Vanilla Dr. Pepper, huh? Okay, so you just pour the juice in another bag, and if you squeeze the air out, it seems to work a little better. So how much juice, I'm sorry, I missed, how much juice are we adding in there? It's one cup. One so cup. pass it down. Okay. Pass it down. Okay, so just put that right in your bag with the ice. This is kind of like making homemade ice cream. I have a recipe that we would make homemade ice cream with like whipping cream. Yeah, it's really But I would have never similar. thought to do it this way. Why do I have to have juice? Uh, what do you want instead? She has Coca-Cola over there. You want to get all jacked up on caffeine? Do you want to like bouncing off the walls? Hey, I got Coca-Cola today! Money! Money! Oh, oh, oh. some Sprite. Okay, John, put this in yours. <laughs> Put it in. Yeah, why don't you just do juice, because that's what she has out. Okay. Nice. Here, I'll get one more. This is kind of heavy now. Okay, Marie says, hello from Peora, Arizona. It is hot here, and slushy sounds great. And Debbie says, love 99 bottles of root beer. I will share. My daughter and I are watching and making slushies with you. Awesome! Yeah! I love what you guys awesome. are doing. You can do them along with us. See that it only takes just a few short minutes. Okay, let's put them in our bags, and then what you're going to do is shake it around. So you got to do your shaky song. Shake it, baby, shake it. Woohoo! Yeah. And you're going to be shaky for a little while, so about five minutes. It can get kind of cold. You can shake it from the top and kind of use, if it gets too cold, you can just use a rag to protect your hands. So here, you tell me all the blue Open some doors to absorb the sound. Oh, and we can turn this off. Okay, so shake, shake, shake like crazy. Okay, and this one I'm going to do one on Coke too, so let me know. And Shanara says, and I always say your name wrong, and I always forget how to say it. Shanai, Shanar, Shania, Shanar. Anyway, she's from Scotland and she joins us. Ah, it's probably the middle of the night there. I don't think you're seeing. We're going to just start to so see okay. your page yet. Oh. Let's see if we can get it going. Okay, so if you're just joining us, we're making magic five minute slushies. And you can find the recipe on Favorite Family Recipes if you go to their page right now at the top. But we also have a link on there. And what we did is we just got a Ziploc bag full of ice with a teaspoon, no, a tablespoon, teaspoon of kosher salt, or like rock salt, and then one cup of slushy mix. I mean, one slush of like, uh, one cup of liquid. Like, 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 mix it all in there. So if you guys wrap it in here, yeah, if you're getting tired, well, that's because the sugar is just going to jack you up and give you more energy, so... <laughs> Go ahead and get tired. Okay. Okay, so for those of you who are just joining, <laughs> hold on. We're trying to get favorite family recipes up. So this is a really fun, this would be like a really fun project if you were going to the park with a bunch of other kids. You just bring a cooler full of ice and you can have the stuff pre-mixed and then just add the ice to the bags. And then while the kids are like kind of having like a little cool down moment in the shade, 
You could give them a bag of ice and they could, oh, it feels good. And they could be making their slushy and then they could eat it right there in the park. So I don't know if you can tell, but like it's already starting to slushify. So we're gonna keep, keep doing it. Yara says, hello from New York. And Deb says, we're using Greek Kool-Aid. Ooh, that'd be great. And you can use like apple juice, um, Gatorade, whatever, whatever you have on hand. It really doesn't matter. If you're using soda, you just don't want to use a diet soda or diet drinks because for some reason that sugar doesn't freeze as well. It might take longer. Okay, good to know. Okay, keep taking up. I wonder if like, you think fruit juice would work? Like, um, like, not cool, but like orange juice or apple juice? I think so. I think apple juice works. I don't know. You have to maybe. Yeah, I'm sure enough. orange juice would be fine. Just any kind of juice. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we're still like that. That's it. Like fun. We did this um, a couple years ago. I was. It was called the Activity Day Sleeper for our youth group at church. But we made ice. Uh, yeah, we made ice cream like this, and we just sent all the kids outside, and they ran around in circles and shook their bags. Ooh, yours is looking really close. I bet yours is about ready. Okay, let me check and see if they have some more on that. Okay, Danielle says, hi! Hi, Danielle! We're always so happy when you join. Let's see you want to run in circles? Yeah. Okay, they want to run in circles for a little bit. You guys can run in circles. Just don't hit the tripod. There you go. We'll run in circles and shake. No, we are talking about doing it outside. Debbie says, uh, Gatorade is a great idea, too. Thanks for sharing this. Who knew it was so easy? And Rachel says, this would be a great for my summer camp group. Thanks for the idea. You're welcome. Yes, it's like a super, oh, she totally just went outside. <laughs> She did just to run around in circles outside. Okay. So we're making our slushies. Ooh! It helps you get your vibrato. Okay. Danielle says, I'm always happy to watch for your videos. They're so much fun. Oh, thank you. And Catherine says, we have a ball. You can do this with them. Oh, if you have a ball, you can do this and you can kick it around and it makes slushies or ice cream. Well, kind of, yeah, they have a ball like that. I almost bought one at a yard sale a couple years ago. Um, I think if my husband's on, Matt, add the link to those balls that she's talking about, the ones where you can make ice cream or drinks. But yeah, so you can put the same solution or the same um, concoction that we just made inside of a ball and then the kids can like roll it around and play soccer and stuff like that. And then when you're done with your game, you pull it out and you have fresh made ice cream. I made the game for this Washington shake. My son thinks that he thinks you guys are going to be bored watching a shake. That's why we need to entertain them. So why don't you guys, oh, so can you tell us some new facts about space that you learned this week? We want to run around in circles while well, shaking. Okay, she wants to run in circles. She doesn't want to tell. Actually, probably pretty close to that. Yeah. You can start pouring in, and then we'll do one with Coke really quick. Okay, yeah, let's do one with Coke. So let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, All so right. we have favorite family recipes live. So before we pour theirs, we're going to do one more for the favorite family recipe yours. We did the kids, we did theirs with some fruit juice. I think it was just some strawberry guava juice. And then for this one, we are going to use some Coke. It's really good with Dr. Pepper or really any kind of soda. Anyway, so you get a quart size bag. And you just put a couple handfuls of ice into it. And this is the recipe for the five minute slushies. We posted this on our blog today. And so there should be a link um, there in the comments on how to access it. So you do. Here, go run around outside real quick. Okay. Go run. Go run a lap with your. Hopefully slushies. you guys can hear me a little better. Wow. Now, run laps with your slushies. 
They're going to go shake their slushies outside, so that way she can hear. This can be a slightly more grown-up version, I guess. So you get a bag of ice. And <laughs> your neighbors are going to love that. Sorry, did I get your toe? Oh, you're fine. And then a teaspoon of salt. And it can be table salt, kosher salt. Um, we're specifically using kosher salt. And Marie then, says you can put the same mixture in a hamster ball and then like roll it around which is inside the bag. That's <laughs> genius. I love that idea. Okay, I'm going to go buy a hamster ball. And you can buy these like the magic slushy things online and they're, they're $10 to buy and you can make your own so easily. Okay, so we are pouring one cup of Coke. And we're going to put it in a sandwich size bag. So we have a quart size bag and a sandwich size bag. And you can use, you know, whatever sizes you have on hand. This is just easier to have one big one than a little one. Got Okay, so here's our little bag of Coke. And I like to squeeze the air out of it. I don't know if you can see this. It seems to freeze a little better if there's no air in it. So then we just... Plop that in with the ice and the salt. And then it gets super, super cold because the salt interacts with the ice, which takes the, the, the ice temperature down lower than it normally would. And so it's really good to go ahead and wrap it in like a towel so you don't kind of like freeze or burn your hands. Danielle says, um, how's Maverick doing with the yo-yo? He's doing awesome. He's been playing with them all day. I actually made him leave them out in the car as we drove over here because I was like, he will end up breaking something at Erica's house. So. <laughs> Um, Angeline, Angela says, I bet I'd be good with cherry limeade carbonated waters. Ooh, that'd be really good. That would be good. Well, we can have the kids come in and we'll pour theirs and I'll keep um, shaking this and by the time they're done shaking theirs, this one will be done. So let me call them in. Leslie says, we've done this with ice cream the same way. Yeah, I've made it with ice cream too and how you do that with ice cream is you just put whipping cream or like heavy cream and then like a little bit of the vanilla and... Something else, I can't remember what else we put in there. And then you mix it, and then you can add your fresh fruit after, and it makes really good, yummy, homemade ice cream. Okay. All right, so we're going to show you how this works. Oh, this cup got a little. Okay, Danielle says that sounds like he loves them. Yes, he loves them. They're super fun, the yo yo's we did yesterday. Okay, yeah. so here's one of the kids' bags. I got oh, okay. So you can see that that's really slushy and... So Deb says, when I heard that you were going to make the adult version, I thought you were sending the kiddos outside to make wine slushies for you two. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Okay, two. our adult version, it will be Coke. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink at all. Okay, can you, I don't know if you guys can see that. Look how that... Mom, can you... Can you guys see that okay? Let me get you yeah, closer. Let me get you closer. So I don't drink at all because I'm weird enough and crazy enough without any alcohol in my system. I'm pretty sure that if I drank, I'd be a, a crazy table dancer or something. So I don't drink at all. So this is the adult version as we get. So can you guys see how like it's nice and chunky and slushy? Do you want to hold up the bag too so you can see what it looks like in the bag? So here's what the bag looks like. It's nice and chunky and pretty thick. Nicole says, what is this? This is our five-minute magic slushies. It's just fruit juice or Kool-Aid or whatever you want. We're actually making a Coca-Cola one right there. And then um, if you missed the first part of the video, you can just click on that link. It will take you directly to Favorite Family Recipes, and she'll give you all of the details that you need to make it. Um, another thing to do would be to go to Favorite Family Recipes, get the recipe, and then pin it to your page. Like fun summer activities or if you share this then when you go back and uh, once we're done with the video you can fast forward rewind it watch it share it and remember it for later it'd be great for like girls camp family reunions a fun treat at the park oh sorry guys and it's super cheap to make I mean you can just make your own Kool-Aid or whatever Casey says look show me the kids would love this Vanessa says that's cool definitely gonna try and Don says that looks yummy I don't drink either and then Lisa says, what a some fun or some fun summer treat. And Nicole says, I made graham cracker coconut cookies. Ah, she made your recipe. Did you not burn them? <laughs> that was so embarrassing. 
So last week we did a video and got caught, caught up in what we were doing and totally forgot the cookies in the oven. Burnt them. So okay, just eat thank them you, them. Live TV. <laughs> but it was good one. and we cooked the rest of the batter. Okay, yeah, look how yummy that looks. That took, seriously, we probably could have taken out a little bit earlier. So they were probably shaking for about five minutes. So super, super quick and easy. Brandy recipe. says, I'm going to try this when my kids get home from school. So yummy, yummy, homemade slushies, and you don't have to run to 7-Eleven. John gives you a big old smiley face. And there's no, um, there's no like big chunks of ice. That's what I like about it. Let me get this one going on for the cheese, Sarah. <laughs> okay. All right, look at the kiddos. They're all enjoying their yummy slushies. Okay, so cutie pie, why don't you tell us a something that you learned about space this week? Uh, tell us a space fact. Uh, that, that scientists think there's a planet in the asteroid belt that's bigger than Earth called Planet Nine. Whoa, Planet Nine. Is it in the asteroid belt or in the Kuiper belt? Kuiper. Oh, it's in the Kuiper belt. So tell everyone where the Kuiper belt is. It's it's the it's the Kuiper belt is it. Kind of like the ash, it, it's, it's an asteroid belt, but bigger. Whoa. That's awesome. Yeah, How are your slushies, guys? Do you like them? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, as the kids are enjoying their slushies, we're going to go get start getting set up for our... Um, Plan video! Hannah says, they are cuties, and Dad says, oh my goodness, they are cute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Nicole says, no, I don't. They, they're great. And Danielle says, she's so smart. She's so cute. She is a cutie. That's why we call her cutie pie. Mommy, I'm not in the video. Well, scoot closer. Scoot closer to the girls. <laughs> and then um, Erlene says, we don't have much juice at home. My kids are hyper enough already. LOL. I will buy <laughs> some and try this with them as a homeschool activity tomorrow. Thanks for the idea. Yay! Yes. So another thing is if you don't, if your kids are already like you not used to up. like to juice and like some so if you don't have a lot of sugar in your diet anything sweet is going to taste sweeter so you can definitely like make kool-aid and only add like half the sugar and then i mean it's still going to taste super sweet to them because they're not used to this you know the the really really thick sugar okay so as the kids are enjoying their smoothies and as Erica's finishing shaking her Coca-Cola one, we're gonna start, we're gonna switch to our next project. Um, Karen says, can't wait to try, and Kimberly says hi from Louisiana. And do us a favor, if you guys are watching this and you like this idea, we would love you guys to share favorite family recipes um, or this video. Share it like either on Pinterest or um, Facebook, like just the more you share it, it helps the social media channels uh, know that you guys like watching these videos and that you like seeing the content from our pages. So if you guys wouldn't mind, we would love it if you would like, share, or comment on the videos. And then if you follow those links, go ahead and grab that slushy recipe and pin it to Pinterest real quick. That way you don't forget and that way this summer when you're looking for fun summer camp ideas, or fun family reunion ideas, you can... Oh yeah, I remember that! Or field trip! Or field trip. Brain you got a brain freeze? Me too. Okay, Liberty says, hi from Roswell, New Mexico. Hi! And Tara says, what cute, what a cute idea. And Regina says, hello from Oklahoma. And Karen says, hi from Grand Blank? Blank? Mouth freeze! Michigan. Mouth freeze. Okay, so what we're going to do now is this is a super fun project for kids. My daughter actually did this last year her, for her science fair project. And since Cutie Pie likes um, science projects so much, we wanted to do the science project with her. So do you know what a hypothesis is? Do you know what a hypothesis is? That's a really big word. She's not in kindergarten yet. So, well, I learned a lot about dinosaurs. Yeah, so the hypothesis is an educated guess. And so today we're going to guess is do you think a blow dryer that like your mommy used on her ha your hair, do you think it would get hot enough to melt some color crayons? Mm. Do you think that would work? Uh-huh. You do? Okay. How long do you think it would take to melt a color crayon with a blow dryer? 500 minutes. 500 minutes. Okay. A good educated guess. 
How long do you think it's going to take? Five minutes. 30 minutes? Okay. 20. 20 minutes. Okay, so we have 500 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes. If we have any kids watching, will you guys add your, your hypothesis or your educated guess as to how long you think it's going to take to melt color crayons with a blow dryer? Okay, and we're going to do it live. And it's going to be fun. Uh, Danielle says, I love doing this. looks amazing. Okay, so what we need for this project is we need a poster board, or we're using a, a foam board because it's a little easier to work with. We need, oh, we need a hot, hot glue, glue gun, gun, and the mom, mommy is going to use the hot glue gun. You said that could. That's a spider web. Well, it's not a spider web. It's actually the glue. It kind of looks like spider webs, huh? You see that? It's actually the glue streaking. And then we yeah. need some color crayons. Okay. Yeah, hey, you can help. Okay, so I actually just grabbed a box of color crayons and glue sticks, and we need a blow dryer. Okay. So my uh oh, so my son. Oh, let me get you guys' guesses. Nicole says thirty minutes. Danielle says Riley says ten. Liberty says my son says five minutes. He's also five years old. Scott Mead says forty-five minutes. And if I missed some of yours. And you want me to shout them out, say them again, sorry. Um, on my thing that I'm on, I can't scroll back down. So we just got these color crayons from the dollar store. So this project is going to cost us about $2.50. A dollar for the board, a dollar for the color crayons, and about 50 cents in glue. And the fun thing about this is after we're done, the kids can use it as art in their, hang on their wall for a little bit. That's amazing! Okay. So we're going to pull these out, okay, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to group the color crayons. Whoa. And last time we did this, I did this with Crayola crayons, and so these are dollar store crayons, and dollar store crayons are a lot more waxy, so you don't have near as much color, so we'll see how it works. If it doesn't work, I'll redo it with the color, the Crayola color crayons. Okay. So let's find all of the blues and let's put, take, um, put all, all the blues in one section. Okay, and all the purples in one section. Uh, Jackie says, Ella says 30 minutes. Okay, so let's find all the oranges and put all the oranges in a pile. I'll find all the pinks. And then all the pinks in a pile. I love pinks. Mommy, is this purple? So this is a good project for helping your kids learn their colors. Ooh, yeah, um, no, no. It's also good for sensory, helping them sort. Give me that blue. Okay, keep all of them on the page. Okay, let's find all the kind of yellows and the greens, the yellowy greens. Here, Malia, there's a. I'm taking out the blues. The blues are all mine. And the blues are mine. Okay. The pinks are mine. The purples. Are mine. Okay, the let's, put the, the are purples. Mine. let's put the blacks and browns kind the of in a pile. The pinks are mine because pink's my favorite. Barbara says, Adam says 20 minutes. Okay, thanks everybody for your guesses. It's awesome to make a hypothesis, which is an educated guess. Okay, so now, oh yeah, did you burn yourself? Sorry, honey. Okay, so that's why mom should just probably do the, um, the hot glue guns. Because the hot glue gun is hot, so that's why it's called a hot glue gun. Okay, Tara McKenzie is almost four, and she says five minutes. I just put minutes. my thing on there. Okay, so we're going to move. Yeah, one minute. Yeah, I can't. Okay, so we're going to move the blues. Can you guys see what we're doing here? I'm not in the video. You're not in the video? Are you feeling left out like you're not a, a loved child? Okay, here, so let's scoot you guys all down a little bit. So Eric's coming, so Maverick can get in the video. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start um, gluing our um, color crayons. Uh, Teresa says, I just tuned in, what are we doing? We just made five minute slushies. Um, and now we're doing a melted crayon experiment. And Nathan says, my daughter Lexi says 40 minutes and she's four. I, uh, I remember Lexi. You remember Lexi? Yeah, I remember. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of smush these up like this. 
We're going to make sure all the crayons are pointed in the same direction, okay? And then we're going to just put a little strip of glue down, and then we're going to put the glue, the, the color crayon on top of it, okay? So strip, and then color crayon. Strip, color crayon. Why did it make that pop? Because uh, it sometimes gets a little bit of air in there. Color crayon. Color can. Okay, what color are we on right now, guys? What color is this? Brown. 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 This I do a pink. Yeah? Dude, Maybe. it's almost out. I need another glue. And you can get another glue. Oh, they're right here. Okay. Okay, what color would you call this color? Brown. Still brown. It's kind of like a like poop. an army green. Well, it kind of looks like poop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> From the mouth of a child, it kind of looks like poop. It comes out by my head. You can make a canvas. Yes, you could totally make a canvas to do this. Um, just wait. We'll okay, we're going to keep them in order. Was. Okay, so now, oh, what color is this? Black. Black, kind of like a dark midnight blue. Okay, put it down. I can't wait to look at aqua. Okay, put another one on. Here we go. Well, all we got to get to aqua. The next color aqua. Okay. So she is almost nine, so that's why we're letting her use the hot glue. Um, and then, but that's why, okay, do you want to try to glue one, cutie pie? Can I try? Yeah, okay, squish it in there. Okay, Maverick, do you want to do the next one? Are you doing this? Yep, okay, so lift it up. Oh, let's have oh, the glue can on I her. Can I the glues? On her tablecloth, okay. Mommy. Okay, so put them on there. Try to get them straight. Okay, so I have some of this Coke Slush. You can have the more slushy of the two. Yeah, can I try it? Okay, so if you guys missed it, um, this was our Coke Slush, our magic five-minute slushies. So here was our what we called our adult version, which was basically no, we're not drinking. We're just we actually have caffeine in ours. <laughs> And I actually, okay, so there, can you see that? You have, who likes Coca-Cola or Diet Coke or actually, wait, Diet we decided doesn't work as well. But if you're like a Pepsi drinker, I would probably make mine out of root beer. I don't tolerate caffeine very well. I get all jittery and crazy, but so yummy, yummy. So if you missed the first part of our video, make sure you follow that link to favorite family recipes and get the, um, get the recipe for our five minute magic slushies. Okay. Good job, you guys. Kay so says, <laughs> what are we doing? It looks like fun. We're doing a, um, a melted crayon science experiment. Do we need, oh, do we need a blow dryer? Um, I have one right here. We just have to, we'll plug it in once we're done with the hot glue. So we had the kids make an, a hypothesis or an ed educated That's guess right. of how long they thought that it was going to take for these crayons to melt with a um, with a uh, with a blow dryer and cutie pie five year old says she thought it would take 500 minutes she said it would take 20 no I said 30 30 oh and he said 20 yeah okay so we're just gluing these on one by I, one wait mom I'm not doing any guesses oh you're not doing any guesses anymore yeah sometimes I might get it wrong sometimes it's blue okay so we're gluing these on and having fun. And having Mom. fun, right? Say, my daughter isn't allowed caffeine except on the weekends. Nicole says, how come you're talking? Uh, take you're you're not taking the paper off. Oh, the reason we're not taking the paper off is because we're gonna blow dry it. And if we left the paper, so the paper kind of like gives the glue something to stick to. You can take it off, but um, it just kind of looks cool at the top because you have the color showing of the the color crayons <laughs> and it just kind of gives it a different look now if we were to use the Crayola ones um, you actually they change the color of their papers that's so it looks even cooler but um, I just, we're just using dollar store crayons and it was like a 40 Mommy, a 64 count I think. do we have to use those crayons? no we're gonna let you color with these at home unless Yay. this doesn't work um, like I said when we did this project last year uh, we use Crayola and it worked just fine, but sometimes the dollar store crayons have too high of like a wax content. 
So do you want mom to glue for a little no. bit? Okay. No? It's highly insulted that I asked to do it. What is under the paper? Um, this is just a poster board, like a thick foam poster board. And then what is the black thing? Oh, this is just, um, this is just, I just don't want her to get glue on her tablecloth. So this is just the, uh, the, the paper. The guy playing saxophone. Yeah, a guy playing the saxophone. Okay. Here's your slushie. Ah. Yeah, it kind of is hot, huh? So another it got tip. On my hand. So this this one that I have is a low temp hot glue gun, and if you're ever going to be doing a glue gun project with kids, it's best to use a low temp or a medium temp. The high temp ones, if, it, if the glue gets on them, it can blister the kids right away. So um, I got a blister before. Learning from experience, uh, the low temp ones are the better way yeah. to go. Yes, wait. I'm going to put some glue on there. Okay. Can I do orange? Um, I always get a blister on my foot. You get a blister on your foot from what new shoes? Here, Maverick, did you want to put the orange on? Yeah. I can do the other oranges. Okay, here we go. Put it in. All right. I'll put that one on. And like I said, so this whole project only cost about two fifty. The glue got on me once it wasn't hot. And if you like get crayons in the after, like the before school sales come like August, you can get Crayola crayons for like twenty five cents, and that's why I always stock up. Like I go to Walmart um, when they have them super super cheap, and I stock up. And that way, when the kids Ooh. school teachers say, "Hey, we're out of crayons," or my kids have busted all their crayons, or I, I have five kids, so we tend to go through a lot of crayons, so we stock up on crayons uh, during the beginning of school season and then because um, you can buy the dollar store crayons but they're just not the same they're just really the colors are kind of pale and um, okay Kay says I love the rainbows I could arrange the colors like that yes yeah, you could totally do like any color you wanted like if you wanted to do like if your kids had a uh, like a themed uh, like if they did like a pink and purple room you could just buy a couple boxes of color crayons and just do like a pink purple wave across the top and then it would make like a like an ombre kind of effect as as they melted or if your son was on like a sports team and they only wanted to do like blue and gold or something like that you could use all the blue ones and all the yellow ones and do like a rainbow effect at the top okay we're down to just four color crayons here okay so we only used two glue sticks so Technically, our project's only about two dollars and ten cents. So, great way for your kids to have fun, create their own personal art for their room. This one's kind of a teal color. Yeah. Uh, Devin says, "Can you put a sticker in the middle of the paper, then melt it and pull it away so it would shape the middle of a Mac wax melted wax?" I think you totally could. That's a good idea. But you would just need to make sure that you pulled it away while the wax is still warm um, or maybe score it a little bit with like an exacto knife otherwise you'll pull the whole chunk of wax off it's a great idea oh Kate said you guys are doing an awesome job okay nice job. i'm gonna move over this way and that way erica can get back in the shop she had somebody come i can to start me. answering questions now i have she, you guys pulled up on my phone she had somebody come to the door so we were letting her uh, <laughs> deal with that that's the joy of live videos is you get phone calls anything that would normally happen in your house um, happens, but it's, we're just live. So, poopy diapers, crying kids, <laughs> knocks on the doors, it all happens. We try to anticipate those things, you just never know. Burnt cookies, it can all happen. <laughs> okay, so two weeks ago I was doing our paint night. Um, oh hey, and my readers, we should be probably doing our paint night Saturday night. I just haven't had the time to do the link yet, but probably Saturday night at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I think we're going to be able to make that work. Why? So two weeks ago, we were in the middle of doing our paint night, and I looked over and I needed the blow dryer, and my husband had totally taken my whole blow dryer apart. Um, Watch, we used to have a clean machine that melts crayons. He was being helpful because my blow dryer is gross and super but dirty, but I looked over, live video, needed the blow dryer, it was totally on pieces on the table. But now, when I do this video for you guys, 
I'll have a nice clean blow dryer, so thank you, husband. Okay. You know, I have an embossing tool, too. I'm sure you could use an embosser. Do you have one of those? Um, yeah, and I don't know if that would make... It's definitely going to make it melt it might faster. Make, it might light the paper on fire. Maybe that's a good idea. Okay, so Malia, we're going to... Maverick, can you hold the color crayon? Hold it up like this. Okay, we're going to melt it. Part. Okay, let's kind of keep track. Okay, let me make sure you have it on high. Okay, so remember that you just stay like right here, down in the motion.
pretty fascinating. Before we wrap this up, Katie says, I love this idea, but it's wise to hold the blow dryer. Is it wise to hold the blow dryer that close to the paper of the crayons? Um, yeah, I think it's fine. Um, it's really thick. The board's really thick. Yeah. And we're not like, yeah, you're, you're just kind of like on it at an angle. It might look like we're a lot closer, but we're actually like holding it at an angle. Okay. Uh, Katie says, oh, no. So Alicia says, I'm late, not sure what has been mentioned, but Crayola makes a cool meltdown tub with funky colors. Oh, cool, good to know. Um, Kayla says, dang, I'm waiting for the bus stop and the signal s stinks. Okay, so Kay, what you can do is you can actually um, just share this page with our slushies from earlier. You can share the link to your uh, Facebook page, and then you can go back and you can rewatch it and the signal should be just fine. And you can rewind it, fast forward, everything at that point. Jill says, honestly, uh, this is nothing new. I'm amazed at how many people have never seen this done before. I saw this done a long time ago uh, with my embosser. I don't take long for the crayons to melt. Good to know the dollar stores ones don't last. Yep, and the great thing about art is the fact that generation after generation, is you get to do something new. And so yeah, this might not be new to you, but there's lots of people that haven't seen it before. And to our five-year-old, six-year-old, and eight-year-old, they've never seen it before. It's kind of like your first time at Disney. You're just mind blown. Even though it's been around for like 100 years, the first time you do something, it's magical. So don't forget that. Um, Jackie says, thank you. Wendy says, crayons also work on it as emergency candles. Yes, you can light candles on fire um, as an emergency. Crayons. Yep. Uh, Ashley says, I shared the post earlier where you put the crayon, uh, the crayons in the shape of the heart and to do the outside edges and put a pick in the middle. That would be really, really cute to definitely like make a shape with the crayons. Uh, thanks. Uh, Kate says, thanks for answering my questions. Great job, guys. You're welcome. All right. Well, Erica, do you want to come uh, say howdy <laughs> and tell everybody goodbye? She cleans her kitchen. <laughs> Linda says, have you ever tried wax paper with crayons? I have not. Oh, wait, yeah, we did that when I was like in kindergarten. You take like the shavings of the wax of the crayons and you put them in wax paper and then you put a towel on top of it and then you iron it and it makes a pretty picture. Yeah, we've done that on like a hot plate. I remember doing that on a hot plate in elementary school. Yeah, once again, like one of those classic things where you totally forget about it, but then as you do it as a, you did it as a kid and then um, the next generation gets to do it too. Okay, Janet says, always fun to watch. Thank you. And Brittany says, what kind of paper are you, would you recommend? This is just a thick, um, it's like a poster board type. Um, it's not poster board. It's, what's, what are these? A foam board. There we go. It's a foam board. And I actually just got it at the dollar store. It's the cheapest place. If you go to Walgreens, they're going to charge you $4 for the foam board. If you go to Dollar Tree, they have it in their school supply section, and it's only a dollar. Or they have poster board there for only 50 cents. So if you have a Dollar Tree um, in your area, that would be the best place to go. And then Kelly says, can't wait to try it. 
All right, thanks everybody for joining us. We always love it when you hop on. Maybe we'll be back next week with another awesome recipe and fun thing with Erica. If not, maybe next month we'll figure it out. And if you guys didn't catch the beginning of the show, I guess you could call it a show, but <laughs> beginning of the feed, we did some five-minute slushies for the kids. You can make a really fun slushie. You don't need a blender or anything. You just need ice, salt, and juice, and you can make really tasty slushies in only five minutes. The kids love it. You just shake it up and you're done. Um, there's a link in your profile, or not in the profile, in, in the, the comments. video header. Yeah, in the video header in the comments, you can see the link to that and you can check it out. Yeah, so go to that, go to that link and then pin it. Because if you're like me, your mommy brain will forget and then you'll be thinking like, ah, I need fun ideas to do with the kids. And if you just create like a Pinterest board, like fun summer ideas for the kids and pin that slushy recipe on there, just a fun, fun five minute. Um, and another thing too is like, it's great, like you say, if you get your chores done, we can make slushies. Take the kids outside, make slushies with them. Uh, we just linked it again uh, there for any of you guys that need it. Um, and like I said, that top bit.ly link, the short link that's highlighted in blue, that will take you right to their site and you can pin it from that page. All right, and don't forget if you're watching this video live, if you haven't subscribed to our live videos, we would love to have you. We'll just give you a little chime, let you know when we're on. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. See ya. Oh, we gotta push the button. Ah! Okay.